guys this is henry from architect piper this video is mainly going to surround like a run through through revit software a very quick run through for amateurs in revit and people that are just new into revit interface the first thing you do once you open revit like this is you open a new project using a template so to do this you click on new after this new project you see template file you can either select from one of these templates but we'll use architectural template the template is basically like a workspace of details that like it is kind of like determines the kind of dimensions you use the kind of walls you use the kind of although in revit we can customize our own template but for this video we'll be starting with architectural templates okay now we have opened a new project so this is um, this tab you are seeing here this bar is your properties bar your properties bar is what like gives you description of an element you are selected in the in revit for example if i select one of these viewports points you see it's the properties bar have indicated elevation viewpoint 12 mm circle so that is what the properties bar is for then the project browser is basically a, a way to access the views for example this is the floor plans these are the ceiling plans these are the 3d views this level zero and i'll still come to levels the ceiling plans and this is the 3d view there is nothing there so it's when we start modeling something you start seeing stuff in 3d okay so as a 3d modeling software in Revit, you need to work with levels. Levels are basically planes where you work with. For example, you can't just, if you are creating a building, there is a ground floor, there is a lintel level, there is roof level, there is second floor, first floor, and all. So you need to create levels first. So for this project, we'll just be basically creating a few levels. You go to elevations, you pick any elevation. So now, basically, if you open the normal, um, using the architectural template we use to open a new project, you basically just see two levels. That is level 0 and level 1. You can rename this level by simply clicking this top tab and changing it to natural 0, 1, natural ground level. So I click yes. NGL has been created, so we'll change this one to DPC. That is your ground floor level. Yes. Then we have two levels. Then this DPC is at 4000. The other thing to consider while using Revit is the unit. So this, the unit now is in millimeters. So if I want to change it, I simply type UN. And you can see um, length is in millimeter so in here in nigeria we use metric scale so we normally use millimeters units okay so i'm going to change this one to 450 that is like normal dpc standard in design so okay what i just sorry what i just click now is this to extend to create an extension from the level the two text will not be overlapping you simply zoom in and click on this you see something like a zigzag click on here then you just click it then the turn goes down then i'll now extend it then we are going to create more levels now so to create a new level you simply go to under this tab where you have architecture structure and to create levels you simply go to architecture then go to levels at the top right corner then we will simply click here level 2 then simply click here level 3 okay obviously i didn't measure these levels while i was creating them so to do that click escape to be able to edit it so to do that i simply click here then this will be our length of level so i'm going to change it to 2.1 that is 2100 millimeters yes i would like to change rename corresponding views 
then this is our selling level I'm going to change this to selling level selling Then I'm going to change the distance to 900. Then remember this zigzag button to not allow the true text level text to valley. Okay. Then this another level. So I'm going to still create another level for roof level. No to still consider the depth the drop down of the roof beam that is going to carry the roof you know, so this video is not for details but um, for mainly for architects okay. change this to roof level okay so we have created um, I think five levels now so I'm just going to extend it so it will not be looking clustered and jam-packed. Let's go to the natural ground level and start creating drawing wall, making creating walls. So let's just model a small um, building now. You we'll click on wall. So Revit used to like this Revit architecture template used to come with its own different walls. But let's just use this wall now. If you have selected a wall, you will see under this properties bar, you will see that um, location line. This location line is like where you will be drawing the walls from. Like whether it's the center point of the wall or the edges of the wall you'll be, that you will be using to draw the wall. You understand better when I'm, I'm using it. Then this is the base constraint. Like the base constraint basically shows the level where the wall will start from. And the top constraint shows where the wall will end. So currently, our top constraint is in unconnected. So we'll change it to roof level now. And this top offset means, for example, if I want to make the wall um, 0 0.6 meter above roof level, I'll just change it to add 600 on top. But we're not going to be doing that. So we'll leave it back to zero. Okay, so we're going to draw our walls. So it, once you select a wall, you will start seeing this um, this tab where you can draw a box, a pentagon. We're just going to be drawing a simple box. And this chain um, icon is just so once you draw the wall, it won't just create and stop there. It will continue to chain round. Okay, we have successfully created a wall. So the next thing to do after creating the wall is to create a floor. So we we'll simply go to architecture. Under architecture, you just you see floors here. Then you now click on it. This template has its own default floors. So we are going to just use one. Let's use this one. So in also the properties bar is in NGL now. The Oversight concrete slab won't be on the natural ground level, so I want it on the DPC. So I can simply click this um, under this properties bar and under levels and change it to DPC. Then I create the floor. I use this place to create the floor. I'm going to draw the floor profile on the perimeters of the walls. So it's set in our DPC now. So we click here. Okay, so as you are modeling, uh, another thing you should put in mind, you can also go to view and see the 3D view and see what you are modeling in Revit. To just easily access the 3D view, you go on this um, top bar, you go to view, the view tab, you click it, then click on this building icon that is 3D view. And you see. Okay, so these are the walls. We just modeled now and this is the floor we modeled okay that said and done we will now create uh you will place our doors and windows i'm going to show you how to place doors and window you go back to architecture you click on door then let's just use a single door you if you want to select the doors you just click on this tab and it drops down you see options of doors from default Revit doors to select so let's just use this one 
and select it so let's place another one just right here okay so we have placed two doors next thing is to select windows go to architecture again click on windows then we have some set of default windows let's just um, select the big one so in the under this window tab you see cell height you see head height so we can change this head height to 2.1 to 2.1 then place the windows as i'm placing these windows you see that revit automatically will be showing you dimensions from the edge of the window to the wall this kind of helps as a guide so we we'll place one here we we'll place one here we place one here and we place one here then we can go to 3d view and see so these are the windows we just placed now so ne the next thing we'll do is to create ceiling so in creating ceiling mm, you go to i will always recommend that the best way to create ceiling and the easiest way is to go to sell under selling plans Go to let's don't go to your ceiling plan because the ceiling plan actually views from a higher plane than a normal floor plan so you go to dpc let's go to dpc and ceiling plan it's not even showing itself so okay let's just use normal dpc in under floor plans then click go to architecture again then you see ceiling so under this ceiling in the properties bar you see the level you can place the ceiling currently is in dpc obviously i don't want my ceiling on the dpc so um and it has a height offset of 2.6 so we are going to change it to zero and place this one in ceiling level because we created a ceiling level so you can either sketch ceiling or click on automatic ceiling automatic ceiling will place a ceiling in any enclosed wall but it's kind of showing like bad now because I can't see anything I'm placing now. So we are going to use sketch selling. So we'll go like this on sketch. I'm, I'm going to use the icon for creating a box. i just sketch a seller. Okay, we have successfully created the selling. If you go to 3D view, okay, the thing, you see this selling, I, I forgot to place it at um ceiling level the ceiling created in dpc so i'm just going i can easily click it and go to the properties bar again as you see then change it to roof um ceiling level there you have it we have created our ceiling okay to create a roof personally i usually prefer creating roof from this 3d view in revit you can do that as far as you click on put it at a favorable view like click on this box icon and click on top so you can see it even in the 3d view you can see it from like a um, autographic perspective like a plan the top view but let's just use the normal roof level okay the reason in this roof level now the reason why i'm not seeing anything in this roof level is that in revit in revit plans it usually cut from i think defaultly cut from 1.2 meter above the um, level you are in now the plan view is just because a plan is a horizontal horizontal section so the plan view now is much they seen the um, walls under the roof okay so we'll just go to 3d go back to 3d and create go go to architecture again and create roof yeah under the roof once you click on roof I the roof icon you see options to select which level you want to put it so we'll click on roof level then you select the kind of roof uh, material you want so we're just going to use this roof generic 125 millimeters or well, let's just use this roof pitch tile the tile select it so it's at roof level now when drying roof is not really the same thing as drawing a profile for floors so for example i've drawn a a profile now for the roof you know roofs usually has eaves so we are going to make create an offset so 
you go to modify you click here that is this tab here offset and change the offset to 600 and you uncheck this copy because if you don't uncheck this copy to just copy the the profile lines so we we'll uncheck it and click on the lines to offset the to create the roof leaves so after that's done you click finish we have successfully created a roof design so far this is our 3d so we have basically created a little building after creating that if you notice you see some gap between the roof and the walls to to avoid that you click on the wall you click on the wall for example now click attach base in under modify words you see this um, thing will pop up attach top base top slash base you click on it so you have held the wall you click the wall attach base and click on the roof then the thing just flushes in with the roof the same thing here and the same thing here okay okay and there you have it we have just created a miniature building more videos on revit will be coming out subsequently